Welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 9 raised to the x power plus 27 raised to the x equals 182 multiplied by 3 raised to the x power. And we have to solve for the value of x. But before we start, for those new to my channel, I would like to say please subscribe like and hit that notification bell so you will get updated on new videos. Okay, let's start solving. When it comes to solving this kind of equation, exponential equation, our aim is to have a common base. If that is possible, if not, we'll just try to get a common ground to manipulate the terms. Okay. We have to start writing the equation again. So that is 9 raised to x power plus 27 raised to x equals 182 multiplied by 3 raised to x power. So in here, we, as much as possible, we, we have to manipulate the, uh, the terms or the base where we can find the common base for all of those with exponent, with expo the variable exponent x. So if if we can express these two terms and manipulate the uh, the base, if we can make uh, make as much possible as a base of three, so that's our aim. So in here, nine x can be written as three is square, since three is square is nine, and all we have to do is multiply the exponent x right there. So that's three raised to the 2x then plus in here is the same uh, three factors of 27 is is uh, 27 factors are 3 3 and 3 three times multiplied by by itself three times so that is 3 raised to the third power since 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 that is also written as 3 cubed. So when it comes to this term, so this 27 is substituted by 3 cubed. So that's 3 cubed. And multiply the exponent x to that one. Alright. And just we, ju we just have to rewrite the right side of the equation. 182 times 3 raised to the x power. Some here now we have common base and we have identical exponents. This is 2x, 3x, and x. So if you notice that, next thing to do is all we have to do is simplify this equation further by dividing with the base 3x. So the base of 3 and exponent x, and the same way on here. So if you divide the right side of the equation with the, the number with exponent, we have to do the same way on the left side of the equation. So we'll be dividing the whole thing. So 3 raised to x power, the same here. Okay. So on here, we have 3 raised to the 2x times 3 raised to the negative x. So we have the uh, the negative exponent rule on exponent that is a raised to, to x is equal to 1 divided by a raised to negative x. That's the same way if you have the denominator 1 over, let's, 1 over a raised to the x it will become the, uh, the the numerator a raised to negative x so that's that's what happened to this uh, denominator right here the neg neg the 3 raised to the x power on the denominator so we put it on the numerator it'll become the exponent b the uh, the opposite of positive exponent it'll become negative exponent so so that's how it works now we have to do it on the second term the same way so that is 3 raised to the 3x multiplied by 
3 raised to negative x equal to 182 and this one cancels that becomes 1 so 182 times 1 or simply 182 and on here now uh, another product rule is that if you have a raised raised to the x and multiplying the same base a raised to y all you have to do multiply the base all you have to do just write down the base and add the exponent so that is x plus y and so in here now that ends up to the first term will be 3 raised to the 2x plus negative x since we're adding that exponent multiplying the both terms with the same base we're adding the exponent and, the, and on the second term that is 3 raised to the 3x plus negative x okay that's the same way putting parentheses on there and that is 182 so multiply I mean uh, simplifying the exponent further that will become 3 raised to 2x minus x right plus and minus that's 3 raised to the 2x minus x plus second term 3 raised to the 3x minus x equal 182 So from, from here now, we simplify the exponent. Let's see that is uh, 3 raised to 2x minus x, that is x, plus 3 raised to 3x minus x, that's, that's 2x, equals 182. So we, come to, we have come to this point that uh, I would like to rearrange the terms. Let's make this one on, on the front, on the left side, and this to the other side. So I'm just reversing the places. So it's 3 raised to the 2x plus here, 3 raised to the, to the x is equals 182. And this can be written also as 3 raised to the, to the x is squared plus 3 raised to x equals 182 and in here if you notice there's a pattern over here now this is squared and this is the uh, this is uh, the exponent 2 over here exponent 1 so from here we have to signify another variable over here so that is let uh, y be 3 raised to the x and now we have to start to substituting this value of y in here now. So that is y squared plus y. Since 3x is the same as y, so that's y equals 182. And I would like to arrange this uh, equation to be y squared plus y transposing 182 but it will be negative 182 equals to 0 and from here y squared trying to figure out is uh, we have to like factor out this 182 and what are the factors of 182 so that is uh, 13 and 14 14 times 13 is 182 and since the middle term is positive y that means that this is gonna be positive and the, the smaller one will be negative so in this in this case we have to designate that as a plus 14y minus 13y E minus 182 equals 0 so since this value over here 14y minus 13y that is y so it didn't alter the uh, the value of the equation
So from here we start simplifying or actually fa we start factoring by uh, by grouping doing grouping. So we have to group this one right here. Group this together and and group the other, the other two together. So we factor out y so that this y times over here is y plus factoring out y that will become 14 then minus factoring out 13 out of that it will become y is left right there and this becomes positive since positive times negative they will be positive be negative multiplying 182 divided by 13 that is uh, 14 since we we have found the factor earlier factor 182 is 13 and 14 so in here now factor out y plus 14 so this y plus 14 and we're taking out one y plus 14 on both terms right here so that what what we have left on here on the left side is, is y minus 13 cos 0 and all we have to do now is both factors will be equated, equated to 0 so that is y plus 14 cos 0 and the other one y minus 13 cos 0 okay so in here y equals transposing 14 to the other side it will become negative 14 and on here y is equals to transposing negative 13 to the other side it will become positive so that's the answer positive 13 and here the y is negative 14 the value of, the value of x or y could not be negative so it should be y should be greater than 0 so y is equal to 14 is that's not the solution to this problem right here so not a snow solution on this part right here so this is not the solution so we'll be using this value so negative 14 uh, we don't we don't need that negative value for y since uh, we're looking at the value of y should be greater than zero so no solu no solution so the only thing the answer of y that we can accept is the positive one that's yes, 13 okay now since uh, the value of y is from up above is 3 raised to the x power so we have to to substitute that value of y now where we got it is it is y is equal to 13 so in here I have rewritten the same equation on the bottom y is 3 raised to the x power and now we found that value of y is 13 so we have this equation now 3 raised to the x equals 13 and then to solve this equation is we had to use logarithm natural logarithm or common logarithm either way so let's use the uh, the common logarithm that is log of 3 raised to x equals to log of 13 so this is understood that this the logarithm is base 10 so we have the power rule that is log of log of uh, a raised to the x power is equal to x log of a so we'll be using this for this one right here so this becomes log raised log uh, log of 3 raised to the x becomes x logarithm of 3 is equal to log of 13 value of x divide all divided by log of 3 on the other side the same way so cancel log of 3 we have x is equal to log of 13 divided by log of 3 and if we do that in the calculator 
So log of 13 is 1.139 divided by log of 3 is 0.47 71 and x then is equal to so that is 2.3347 okay and in here we can also use the natural logarithm that works the same way so that is instead of using the log we use the natural logarithm ln so that is x is equal to ln of 13 divided by ln of 3 where ln of 13 is 2.6649 now that's 25649 2.5649 and ln of 3 is 1.0986 that's uh, 1.0986 okay so x is equal to that is equal to 2.33469 or that is just 2.3347 same way so that's the same as that one right there by using a logarithm so next thing to do now is we have to check our solution if it's correct or, or wrong by substituting to the original equation so we're going back to the original equation we have just found that the value of x is equal to that is 2.3347 so we substitute that so 9 raised to 2.3347 does 27 raised to the same thing 2.3347 equals 182 times 3 raised to 2.3347 and this value over here we found that by using our calculator that is uh, 9 raised to 2.3347 that is 168.99 then plus this 27 raised to the same exponent x we found that as 2196.87 and equals 2365.95 okay and here is this equal to that so that's the problem right there that's the question that is here now is 2000 365.85.86 so that's approximately equal to 2365.95 so about the same because of the rounding up of numbers so that's the difference right there all right so the value of x is x is equal to 2.3347 so that's all for now thank you for watching for those new to my channel please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get you updated on new videos thanks for your time have a great day everyone bye